War Diary, day 588 of Russia's war against Ukraine. Today the Russian army targeted a village near Kupiansk. I was there last year. And they targeted, um, I think, a cafe. It's a small place, that's where everybody hangs out. And they've killed 48 people. The numbers will go up. This is seriously injured, die. This is a war crime. This is a war crime like all the other war crimes. The ones that started in 2000 in Chechnya, the second Chechen war, when I first called Vladimir Putin a war criminal. The war crimes perpetrated against Georgia in 2008. The war crimes perpetrated by the Russian army in Syria, supporting the monster Bashar al-Assad. The war crimes of the first invasion of Ukraine in 2014 and the war crimes of the second invasion of Ukraine last year. And what I cannot believe is that there are useful idiots in the West who are supporting and backing the Kremlin's narrative. I cannot believe that voters in Slovakia have elected a pro Putin government. I cannot believe that the far right of the Republican Party, the MAGA people, have decided that it is a smart and clever thing to unseat the Speaker and to do a deal to secure the continuing continuance of the American government without blocking aid to Ukraine as part of the deal. To the useful idiots in the West of the Kremlin, you have blood in your hands. You have blood in your hands. And to Vladimir Putin, do fuck off. Blood from Kiev.